Hey there guys, welcome back. Um, this is episode four of the uh, GTI's progress build vlog, whatever you want to call it. It's um, a nice day today, surprisingly, so I'm gonna get started on uh, doing some paint stripping on uh, on some parts that were painted on the car. Um, I had shown you guys before, both the rear and the front bumper, as well as the miscellaneous other parts have been painted while still assembled on the car. Um, I wanted to get that texture back, so I had already done the front bumper. I didn't paint strip it. I actually used a heat gun and a, uh, a what was it called, like a gasket removal tool. So <clears throat> the rear is not so easy. It uh, adhered a little better, so I went and picked up some paint stripper for plastic. I'm going to test the paint stripper for plastics on the rear spoiler that used to be on this car that was painted. Um, so yeah, we'll see how well this paint stripper works. I'm, I've seen some mixed reviews on how well it works, and I don't know how well it's going to do on automotive paint uh, compared to just rattle can spray paint removal. Uh, if it does work well, I'm going to continue. If not, there was another brand that I was looking at that I will have to make a run to Napa to uh, grab. So, and it's supposed to be pretty good and not damage plastics. So, yeah. So I don't think I really have to show you guys again, but I'm going to do it anyway. This is the rear bumper. I use a gasket scraper and a heat gun to get this far, and it's way too much of a pain so uh, yeah I'm going to give this a shot on the rear spoiler and see how it turns out here's the front bumper after I did that with that method the uh, gasket removal tool and heat gun but I think it was easy to remove because this bumper is aftermarket it's a fresh bumper plastic is still fresh and has some oils left to it you can see my paint is already chipping up right here where I cut it, and I'm not too happy with that. I may have to seal it. Um, I may have to get the heat gun and heat this up and then seal it and get some uh, something to hold this down to that edge for the time being. Otherwise, I'm going to repaint that whole lower part of this bumper just so that it looks correct. See, this side's much worse. So... Yeah, I'm not happy about that, but that's what happens when you don't paint thing, things right, and uh, that's exactly what this guy did, is uh, he did a horrible job. So I figured I'd start the GTI, it hasn't been started in a while, and uh, sort of just want to hear it run, so here we go. minutes and we'll see how it looks after that. It may take a couple coats but I'm pretty happy so far. Got a good chunk of it off, I'm gonna do another coat of it and uh, too many coats it takes to get it completely off. Um, it takes too many, it's not really worth it. But if it doesn't, I might even have enough to do the bumper left in that one can, so we'll see. This that I've let sit here for a little while. Um, about all the paint is off of it. Um, I'm gonna rinse it off. This is about three, I think it was three, maybe four coats of that, um, of that stuff. The white down there is other paint stripper. It didn't really need to be stripped down there because it's just texture. I'm gonna rinse it off and the problem with it is a uh, previous guy who painted it sanded it smooth so there's uh, no texture left in it. I think this is going to be a test candidate for me to retexture. So 
I do think I'm gonna use this paint stripper on the bumper. I'll give it a shot. Uh, I have plenty in that can left, I think. It's still just about full. So, yeah. so I'm thinking I'm gonna put uh, the third brake light back in now. I got the adhesive. I went to O'Reilly's, uh, I don't know, earlier this week and uh, picked up the adhesive to do it. Watched some videos on how, and it's really simple. It's really not anything at all. So I had cleaned all the adhesive off of the glass that we installed um, and put some black paint on the scratches. Looks like there's a little bit there that I missed. And I laid the old one out in the sun so that I can heat up this adhesive. So it's getting pretty warm. So yeah, I'm going to uh, remove these and install them on the new one. So I got these off. I just have to mark the positions on here and then I'll get them adhered. Pretty easy to install. See the slightly offset, not exactly how I wanted, but I did check alignment, everything should be good. I installed them using the same instructions you'd use for a rear view mirror, so, and uh, two packs of Permatex. Um, they give you these little things, and there's barely little to anything in them at all, so you have to uh, get two. It's about 10 bucks, I think, so yeah, that'll work. In other news, it's looking like it's going to rain. I'm not entirely sure yet, but... Yeah, and if it does, I'm probably not going to stick around out here. I might get the taillights installed and maybe the center badge just real quick, and that might be the extent of it. I'm going to let this dry for a while because it does take a decent amount of force to uh, install that, and I don't want to pop them off of the glass, so... Okay, one side, grab my taillights. Got a left and a right. These will go on it. Uh, they look a lot nicer. No, uh, no paint on the top and bottom and damage, so. They're just original Hellas. They're, uh, I don't know, a lot nicer. So I'm gonna do those. And um, these are my side badges for the trim, but what's actually going on is the rear emblem. I picked this up recently. So this car is missing it right there. So this is going to go on it as well. So yeah, let's get started. for now. It's raining, taillights are on, badge is on. I'm just gonna button it up for tonight and I'll come back later and do more. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Here's your comparison. New one. Very nice. The missing badge is on. Next is, I'm gonna be paint stripping the bottom. Hopefully next. Gotta take the bumper off, so we'll see. 